everyone. Welcome back to Allison's VSL Kitchen. Today I'm going to give you some brief instructions about eggs. Yes, you got it. Plain egg. I'm going to use this time to discuss some vocabulary about cooking eggs. One very common way that people like to enjoy eggs here in the States, especially for breakfast, is scrambled. Scramble means to mix. So scrambled eggs would mean that the eggs have been beaten, usually with a whisk, such as this one. And then whisk all the egg together till it has an even consistency. Then you could pour them with some butter or, or some oil in the pan, and you would simply just pour the eggs in and stir them in the pan until they are cooked Another very popular way to enjoy a simple egg is to boil it. So boil means to submerge in hot water to cook it. So there's two ways to boil eggs. There's hard boiled and then there's soft boiled. Hard boiled means you cook the egg long enough until it becomes solid, even the center. Then you would peel off the shell and you could either cut it and put it on a salad, or you could just eat it plain. Soft boiled is similar. Soft boiled, though, means you cook it for a shorter time in the hot water, and then the egg in the middle is still soft. So another popular way to cook eggs would be to pan fry them. And so as you would guess, you would just need a pan for frying. This is called a frying pan. A pan fried egg could be sunny side up where you would just crack the egg in the bottom of the pan and cook it until it is just firm enough how you like it and if it is sunny side up that means you leave the yellow on top so it looks like a Sun if you flip it once very quickly on the second side for just a few seconds then it is called over easy you flipped it over easy, meaning just for a little bit. This makes sure that the center of the egg, the yolk, is still runny. Runny means it's still a little bit liquid, which is how many people enjoy eggs. Also, in a pan, you could baste an egg. You would crack the egg directly into a hot pan with some oil. Then, you would let it cook on one side and you would use the juices or the oils from cooking and gently pour that liquid over the top of the egg. The other way is to poach an egg. Poaching an egg, you crack it directly into slightly boiling water. You crack it directly into the hot water so that the egg starts to cook and form its own pod right there in the hot water. As you know, in my kitchen, I love to use butter. So whenever I prepare eggs, I prefer to pan fry them or cook them with lots of nice, rich, fresh butter. Also, very common, especially in the States, is to use the simple combination of salt and pepper on your eggs, no matter what style you cook them. There's so many ways to incorporate vegetables in with your egg dish. Perhaps you could serve your eggs on a bed of spinach or some cooked cabbage with some onion. There's always a way to make eggs the center of a meal and plenty of different ways to prepare them. Again, please comment below and tell me your favorite style of eggs. Here's the real challenge. I decided to make eggs for you today one style and I chose the most challenging technique. For me, that is poaching. Again, to poach means to cook an egg in hot water, and the trick is to not let it fall apart. It's also tricky because I want my poached egg to have the white part fully cooked, but the center yolk still a little bit runny or soft so that it has that delicate flavor. 
Let's see if I can pull it off today. I am starting with some hot water in the pan. I will need to cook it on my stove till it starts to gently boil. Okay, so now I have my hot water on some medium heat so that it will start to gently boil. What I like to do when I poach eggs is add a little oil. I want the egg to form and stay together in this hot liquid. And therefore I think the, the oil helps that. I also am now going to add some salt. This will dissolve into the water. I'm just going to take a whisk and again, as you know, I am not a professional cook. So this is just Allison's method, helping you with vocabulary and hopefully entertaining you as well. <laughs> All right, so I see that most of the pink salt has dissolved in the bottom of the pan. I have mixed in the oil quite a bit. And now I have these gentle bubbles. Okay, this looks about perfect. quickly pop that egg in. Now there naturally will be some egg that skews or swims away <laughs> from the yolk. I'm just checking to see if this egg is actually holding together. Doesn't have to be perfect, at least not in my kitchen. Now again, I would like my yolk a little bit soft. So I'm just going to give this another 30 seconds or so. But this is the main part that I'm focusing on. This poached egg right here. And I will just place this on this plate with a slotted spoon. And here it comes. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, see? It's a little jiggly. Jiggly, meaning it's shaking around a bit because what I have here is still a very soft yolk. So that's still cooking a little bit because it's very hot, but all of the white, this is hard. So this is cooked through, and this is still a little bit jiggly, so if I break it open, it would be runny. Let me know your thoughts. Do you have some techniques about poaching or cooking eggs to share with me? Again, I'm looking for your feedback, so please comment below. Okay, so now I have this beautiful poached egg and I'm going to season it as I recommended, very simply with some cracked black pepper, also sea salt. And this is a very simple dish, one of the most basic ways to enjoy an egg. So that is my short brief episode about eggs. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up or comment and let me know. Also, if you like these types of short episodes where I focus on a specific food, please tell me. I would love to offer vocabulary and English around a topic that you enjoy. So if you would like me to do this for another food, please give me some suggestions. I would love to hear from you. Thanks again. Bye-bye.